What's up guys, this is Crafty Fox, and today we're going to be building the Viewliner 2 baggage car. Now this is used on the Amtrak Lakeshore Limited, and this is commissioned by Ryan Nelson, so thanks to him for making this video possible. I am also building the other um, Amtrak rail cars part of it, such as the Viewliner 2 Sleeper, the Viewliner 2 Diner, uh, the Horizon car, and the Horizon car Dinette, I think. And, um... Yeah, so this is what the Lakeshore Limited uh, train looks like so far. We have a lot of different cars, and I will go over that in another video. But yeah, let's just make this baggage car. So first off, we're going to take gray wool, two blocks above the tracks, three blocks wide. And we're going to take stone, add that right behind it, and we're going to make it... 37 blocks long so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 1 2 2 3 14 5 2 6 20, 7 2 8 20, 9 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 and at the very back add three gray wool like that and fill in the rest of the floor with the stone going all the way back to the front Try and do this as fast as possible. But it is pretty long at 39 blocks, so it's going to take us a while. Alright, so once we do that, let's add these things on the side. So we're going to take a uh, light gray wool, just add three to the four corners, like that. And once we do that, let's take light gray wool again and add uh, the sides. Just go all the way across, like so. And I think it's using a phase three, so we're gonna have to use this one. Kind of rem reminds me of like jelly beans. They're uh, different colors. So yeah, so we have to make these. It's supposed to be a stripe, but you can't really do it. I don't want to use banners for it. So, to make it, we're going to use uh, red concrete. And then, let me just start over here. So, red concrete. Then, add quartz. And then, lapis lazuli. Then, quartz again. And just repeat this pattern. So, it's basically alternating between red and blue. And then, quartz is just between all of them. So actually, let me just do the quartz first, since that's going to be the same throughout. And it, I did it the same way on both sides, because you don't really need it to change. Go all the way across. Alright, and then let's add the red. So let's do this side. Red, red, just do it every other hole. And the other side, we could just match that up. I almost messed up there. All right, and then the lapis lazuli between that. And it is on this side at the very end of it. Alright, so once we do that, we can take uh, gray wool, add this door frame, like that. Put that on both sides. Then let's add the coupling on the bottom, so that's just uh, stone brick slab like that, and add part of this gangway the floor of it and one at the very top then let's add the walls of the gangway which is just three blocks tall of cobblestone wall on each side and we're gonna do that on this side as well to cross cobblestone walls and then one on top to cover it up alright then let's add another layer but this time we're gonna use a stone for this so just go across then the other side then we're 
going to add another layer on top, but this time we're going to go all five blocks. So let me just do the exterior the perimeter of it. We could do the inside. So yeah, this part's pretty easy. But at the same time, it's hard if you want to go fast. Then you have to click a lot. Covering up the top, and there will be uh, little bumps on top, I and mean, we're gonna add that as well. I don't think the Viewliner one has a baggage car. We can just use a Heritage one, which I already have a tutorial on that. So if you prefer the old Heritage baggage car, you can do that for your Amtrak train. Okay. So once we do that, we can add some markings like the black wool right here. And it's just for, I think it might be the number or some sort of a writing on the side. Just put that in the quartz closest to the end. All right, then let's add the small bumps on top. So that's going to be stone slab. So we're going to go to the middle and skip four. So one, two, three, four, put one there. And then the next one, skip eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right here. Same thing on the other side. So skip four. And then skip eight. Seven, eight. Okay. So that's the top section. And let's work on the bottom part. So um, we're going to take stone slab, just add one right here. Then we're going to have uh, stone brick stairs upside down like that. And that's going to be like right above uh, this bogey. Same thing on this side. So just stone brick stairs and a slab. This side. All right, so then we're gonna add three stone slabs like that, and for the other side, it's three as well. Then we have to fill in the middle. So this middle section, we're just gonna use cyan terracotta for that. Just go all the way across. Then do the other side. Then let's add the door. So the door is going to be double door of iron door. It's going to be at the end of this uh, stone slab like that. And I think I just heard a cave noise. So just add it. Should be pretty easy. And then we're gonna make it look a little bit taller by adding a uh, cyan clay on top of it. Like so. All right, and then we're gonna add another lapis lazuli block in the middle for some more um, logo. I think it's the logo. So that's going to be right near the middle part. So if you can judge between these two uh, stone slabs, you can go like this. Try to determine the middle part and you'll find that it is right here. So just cut that part out and replace it with a lapis lazuli block. Okay, so once we're done with that, let's add an iron door in this doorway. It's gonna be right inside this. Then do the other side. Okay, so once we do that, let's add the wheel. So we're gonna take hopper and start that off right at this stone slab. So hopper three stone brick slabs so one two three one two three 
hopper do the same thing on the other side hoppers stone brick slab then the other hopper and then we need to fill in this middle part so just add um, <laughs> stone brick slabs in the middle three parts but you don't have to do the actual middle part just enough to cover this up that. Do the same thing on the other side. You don't want to make it go all the way in the edge, just like the middle three. Alright, so that's pretty much it on how to make the Viewliner 2 uh, baggage car. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks again to Ryan Nelson for commissioning this build. The other rail cars of the Lakeshore Limited will be done uh, shortly maybe not not tomorrow for sure because I need to do other stuff but yeah I hope you guys enjoy this video and if you do please hit that like button below and subscribe if you haven't already because I will be uploading more videos in the future and I will see you guys next time bye